my wife's laughing. I've never, I never showered and brushed my teeth twice since my wedding. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I've done. Uh, I've just got all the prep ready. So I just need to just make sure, like everything cool. Welcome to another episode of the Bandwagon Podcast. And <clears throat> whoever follows me on this podcast will always know that. In the 75 episodes that I've done, I have to put in a Jazzy V reference. And, you know, in, in life, you have to get to that top of the mountain and then recognize when you're there. And I think I'm almost there at this point now. I, I'm happy to kind of stay and retire at, at this point. So what the person I got today is being is a massive influence in a lot of people's lives and even all the guests that I've had before. Um, and to kind of do it justice in the short amount of time that we've got um, isn't, isn't going to be um, enough. But without further ado, the Crown Prince of Pongra, the defender of the realm, it is Mr. Jazzy B. Welcome to the Bandwagon Podcast. Uh, thanks, Ricky. Uh, well, it's really good to uh, see you like this, bro. You know, obviously we know each other for a while and uh, I'm glad you're doing well, man. You know. Uh, you know, getting look on the day that I I think this is one of, one of the way right now in podcasts. It's this way some people don't. I guess they hold things in, kind of thing. You know, I think it's it's a great way to open people up and let other people know that you know you've been following this artist for so long. You know, and one of the story we put that like that. So it's really good, bro. I'm really happy for you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And over the last, um, I would say, three months, I've gone through a lot of hours in terms of your your interviews, just to see everything that you've done from a uh, from a, a early point. Because this year we're celebrating thirty years of you of yourself in the career. If if every Jazzy B fan knows, at the age of four, you were sitting on your Jaja G shoulders, and you're seeing the Forever King, the great uh, Star G, Kuldeep Manak. When you see your journey from being on the shoulders in the bend to then in t having your uh, plaque in Granville Street in 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 Canada, so I've been there. How? What would you? Yeah. What, what do you reckon that conversation with your Tata G be like? You know, I think he'd be so proud, man. I know he's so he, he is so proud. Even he's not here, like you know, I, it just like I went to the bend the other day. You know, everything was there. You know. Kate are beautiful, you know, it, but he was missing. I miss him, you know. It, it, it just, uh, uh, I think that the Yari the, um, with your cha-cha is special. You know, it's like my, what relation I have with my nephew is special. And I, uh, so, yeah, I think my cha-cha be really proud. He has been proud. But if he was here, or definitely, man. Because every time I went to the pen, you know, he will obviously call me just when he was just when there to both but yeah, come Akita and I'm with my book caution and they you know, they like he used to say, but I can look on what gender, you know, when people obviously come up to him or for that PJ and all that. So, yeah, I mean, you know, it, obviously I'm, I miss him, man. He just, it's, he just life, life is tough, man. Life is sometimes we t take it for, uh, you know, granted, I think. And that's why I always tell um, the kid, man. Don't leave things until tomorrow. You know, if you got your special family, your parents, your mom and dad, your chachi, your thai, your auntie, spend time with them, man. They don't want anything else. They, they don't care about your money. You know what I mean? It, it just like, like I said, I went to Penn the other day. I had wicked time, but no, that piece was missing. My chacha, where I all started from, you know, it, it's, it's kind of weird not seeing him there. You know, how happy he used to get. And uh, I'm sure he's smiling up there, but obviously physically, you know, I couldn't hug him and, you know, just chill with him. So, yeah, yeah, he, he, you know, he'd definitely be really, really proud of me, man. You know, when you like, um, and then looking looking at your life in terms of like, you a new, new Bambaza, I just saw that on your... On your yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> so congratulations. Um, yeah, man. You, know, you know, when you put your music and your life, like your music aside, I, I was actually, again, stepped back and I thought, this guy was four years old, five years old, going over from India to Canada. Canada then going over to the UK as a young man. You know, forget the success. The the 
how, how much you've got to be built and that generation and you you your part and your your morals and your ethics are from that generation do you think that the generation now is missing those things because i see in your art your dedication to your fitness your life and the struggle and i think a lot of your successes came from going through those struggles in order to achieve those things do you think that's fair uh, i mean you know i think uh, everyone needs to struggle to become somebody i think the per- people the person who don't struggle in life they don't know the value of the life you know the for example when i you know left canada you know right a- after high school i had a choice to go to college i'm not saying you should definitely education is the most important thing in life i'm lucky that you know i made a career out of this a lot of people struggle a lot of people don't make it so education is very important but from leaving home from surrey to birmingham you know where i only knew was sukshinda chinda bhaji you know a couple of other guys i knew that's it i didn't know nobody so i had to leave canada pick up my bag leave my parents leave my sister my nephews my nieces my brothers and just come to a different country it's not easy bro it wasn't easy you know i remember we used to live like char panch jana assi ikatthe rehnde hunde sege right and we used to like you know when you at home you don't even lift a, like a cup or a plate from the you know put it in the sink because your mom's going to do that for you right or your sister's going to do that for you but we had to like cook our food the uh, food clean everything i think that teaches you a lot though the life the value of your parents you know don't take things for granted man respect them and i think a struggle is a must for for an artist to be successful in life and stay there you know a lot of people do make it like their first song comes and they become like you know overnight star but then they don't know what to do after that mm. right because they haven't been through the you know the journey the struggle you know waiting for um a a a person to get your turn on 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 a mic or even for one song you know i remember when i came from the uh, uh, canada and had a chance to perform at the asian musical pop awards nobody knew who i was this is a kid with a wacky hairdo baggy clothes you know criss cross colors and all that you know and nobody used to dress that like that in in uk and obviously people were all all eyes on me anyways like looking at me who is this guy right and everybody were there i remember as god boy you know mukhi singh blivin the safri boy apache you know belly said everybody man and here i was like just waiting for my turn you know somehow in the jeet bank my manager then got me a one song on stage and when i went on stage and that say boom and it was up to me what i want to do on stage you know and 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 people kind of got blown away you know cuz the look and the voice didn't match right <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it didn't match and, and that folk and funky kind of thing worked for me so you know that like i still remember that moment like how i was how hungry i was to go on stage right and and just to show my talent and i think a lot of people if you don't go through that you you, you don't know uh, the passion the love for the music man i i saw it in you know i went to uh, rookery road school um so yeah. i think we've been already got there so i know the areas of where you are and then um at the jot to the hood video when you went up to see so road you know you yeah. took, uh, i was watching obviously i was watching you anyway but like yeah. you, but you, were, you took you took talking me man no no yeah, no just no, <laughs> <me. laughs> so like no, no, where no. you got like no. you know where you took like um you took a couple of minutes out i know you the photo was taken but it was almost yeah. like you were talking to yourself where you were right by the by that sign in terms of what what it meant to get onto those stages and looking at what the the uh, the the scene was like you know having power have the pangra there and you're and yeah. keep going on stage and just dominating as well already yeah, yeah I, i still remember that like yes maybe so that's really good how you noticed that cuz yeah i did take time and i remember that walking on that street the my friend taro right taro tour she used to work for um, a spice magazine she's the one like who like he goes 
you're from Canada. She did my first interview, right? And she took me on that road, the Soho Road sign. So at that, everything flashed back right in front of my eyes. When That's why I told the, when we were shooting Frenzy, I go, I got to have a shot there, man. Because, you know, that was like, <laughs> you know, the moment for me. So, you know, all those, everything comes back, you know. So, yeah. So, so yeah, it, it, I think you should never forget where you started from, where, like, the past and everything. So, yeah, I remember struggling there, walking and everything. But it was a good struggle, you know. One of the things you also you said in your uh, interviews as you got, um, I'm the reference kind of you as yourself, like yourself, uh, interviewing your, yourself here. But yeah. when you started out, you said you wanted your music to aim for three to 80 year olds, right? Yeah. That day when you were going down Soho Road, every age group, every background, every everyone from different color was coming up to you from there. It was almost like yeah. you could see what you wanted to do and the achievement was happening in front of you. How do you? How do you kind of cope with things like that? Because it's quite easy for people to have egos and jump off. But then for you to, to achieve consistently through this many years, you know, yeah. you sometimes have to take a step back and think, wow. Or you think, like, I ain't got time to think of that. I need to carry on moving forward. No, I, th I think uh, I do, like, say, when I'm traveling, I do think about it. Like, you know, God's been great. I think us humans are the greediest people, man. You know what I mean? It's it just, we never have enough. Like, I, I, I always say this, you know, we go to the Gurdara, we're always asking for things, you know, just give me this, give me that, give me that. You know, here, we never say thank you for what you gave me. So I, I look at that way, like, you know, what I have, I can, I didn't, yeah, I had a dream on my such a shoulder, yes? Every kid should dream, and my became uh, true. So th that's why I think that's one of the things like, uh, I remember when 97, man, 96, when my throat got messed up, I couldn't sing. You know, I think that's one of the things because it was only three years into the career, right? And I think that's why it even keeps me humble. It's like, hey, it is the God's gift, man. He could take it away like that. So why, what am I going to get out of being all stuck up you know, nothing. If I show love to people, I'll get love back. So I strongly believe in that, you know, you give love and you'll give, get love back. If you hate people, you're going to get hate back. And I, I hate doing that. I just hate people, how people are hating on each other, man. That's not what music is all about. That's not what, it, it shouldn't be like that. It should be all love, man. You know, we, everybody's going to do their own thing. Pyaar bando te pyaar karo us. You know what I mean? I think that's one of one of the things. You know, like um, um, you know, going through your um, your career, you're taking advice from people, and you know, there's a couple of famous stories where you're talking about how uh, when uh, Star Kaldeep Marek was sitting next to you, and he was talking about the water, and you just like, yeah, you know, having that 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 teaching around you where somebody offered you a piece of uh, water, and he and he said, yeah. you, right? Oh man, I got a tapper, man. Yeah. <laughs> I did. You told it. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a dad as well to two kids, and and sometimes your your children kind of push you. You know your your limits and and how you behave. And yeah. it was a story that I don't know if it's going to make sense in in this, but you told a story about how your dad, the way that he used to talk, and he had and it was about you go to a family environment and the spoons or something along the spoons were the right size or when you when you could yeah yeah yeah. And he, he, <laughs> yeah, he like, didn't want to offend yeah. anyone, but the way oh, that he, yeah. he, he did some donor to you, like... Yeah, yeah, like he had one-liners, right? So that story was my papi was making roti, right? And me and my brother were all eating, right? So my papi gave my dad a spoon, and he likes a spoon big. So then he's like, Yeah, Jasvinder, when you went to India, Right? And my papi caught, caught it right away. Like, you know, it's just the way one liners. I remember once, right? That was his personality, which was beautiful. Wouldn't he wouldn't get mad at you? But he'll like, you know, throw those one liners like whack you in, in the face. One time, like I was in India and I used to come down like longer time, like four or five months uh, in a year. And I didn't call him maybe for like two or three weeks. 
right? So then I rang and he picked up and he goes, oh, shukra, balle, 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 tera phone aya. He goes, man, nikka ja, sika, jada tera phone aya, see? <laughs> and, what, and what do you say to that, right? I'm like, oh, man, I'm so sorry. So after that, man, it was every other day. I used to pick up my phone, even two minutes, I used to talk to him. Yeah, so he he, he was a beautiful man. I think, uh, like, he was just a, such a positive person. But the way of his saying was very beautiful. I think I picked up a lot from him, learned a lot from him. So it, it, even when people talk about you and, you know, you do have that, it's almost that kind of, not not trying to age you or anything, but like that fatherly thing. <laughs> you look at that, like, oh, people come up to you, you know, no one's ever said yeah. a bad word or you, you, you never hear that. But, you know, those mm-hmm. are the morals and everything that your parents, your family, your wider, your friends have brought you up with. But you know, like, uh, you know, from when you were doing framing and building, when you were going from that side to, what was a young Jazzy B like then? Was he always like that? Yeah, I mean, you know, I've seen, I, I've seen my dad, like, working in a farm. There used to be a broad farm in, in Surrey, um, Cloverdale. He used to work there. And, like, uh, I think it's a tradition, every Canadian kid, like, I tell this to my kids, I go, you guys are lucky, man. You guys didn't have to, like, bury pick, right? But back in our day, every kid, because the summer holiday used to be like uh, more than eight weeks, man, right? And trust me, you used to hate it because the bus used to pick up like five in the morning and drop you back like seven in the evening. Boom, come the next day for like two months. But, you know, but doing that, it, it it, it teaches you a lot. You don't realize it then, but I realize it now. If I didn't do that, I wouldn't be here where i am today right because it's not i took the easy way out yeah i worked i worked at the shop i worked berry picking construction you know the building houses that's where the lok Kunar, my boss you know sabri's brother he picked me up like where he's that well you got the talent you should do an album like he, this guy wasn't a millionaire but no he saw that talent and maybe if i didn't do berry picking i didn't do work I wouldn't meet him, right? So everything kind of connects. So, yeah. So, and I'm proud of it. I'll, I'll tell on stage. Even the youngsters today, like, some of them, they come up to me like, oh, you know, how, how do you, like, stay this humble and this? I go, you know what? Just be yourself. Don't try to pretend that you're not. Right? You know what I mean? Just be yourself, man. Just be normal. You, you, you love your, your phrases, like, no pain, no gain. Uh, you know, but yeah. there's a, or another one which is like hard times make hard people, soft times make soft people. You know what I mean? Yeah, so that, yeah. You know that meant that you've done was, yeah. You know that you, you you know you've just explained it. You know when you like when you got into the musical field, you early on in your career you were with like um, the Waris Brothers and Sankata. What was that like? Yeah. When you were going into kind of that learning kind of where you sitting down, being taught keys, where you getting taught like rags and things like that. How what was that kind of set kind of experience like, especially in Canada? Yeah, I mean, uh, we like I had my band like even before like I met those guys, right? Uni, uh, they came from India. Uh, I think I said this. Uh, I remember uh, meeting Shinda Paji, uh, Maddi. Was also used to live in Canada. Uh, Johnny Z that show Siga, uh, Taz, right? So uh, Shindabaji was playing Dole with him, uh, uh, you know, uh, came from England. And I remember performing with Johnny Z uh, as a backup dancer. You know what I mean? I had one chance, um, like one song in the middle when he took a break and stuff. So all those struggles, and that's when we met Sangatar because they were the band there. and. And obviously, uh, so me, my boss, the Lok Singh Kooner, all after work, this is, I'm talking about after work, construction all day, on the weekend, whatever. And then we go down to the house to learn all the rag, you know, the surah and everything. And it used to be like for three, four hours, right? At the end, I will teach them Pangara. <laughs> <laughs> That's the train. That's the deal in it. That's, that's, that was a train, man. That was a train. Okay, when he meant what I was going to do, but that's kind of the man. I don't know if I'm going to have a good time. And then every every uh, section, and because Sankatar, right? He he loves his instrument. So, are you to play for Kamal? He's dancing. <laughs> I didn't teach him that, man. 
<laughs> no, no. And Santar, obviously, he loves his um, instrument, especially flute. And I want to start with Cardana because he, he, he goes, Manny, man, Manny, man, dance Karna. Then he used to go, goes, on Mary flute sound, he went, he's on. So, <laughs> and Bob be like, Yara, he's very calm, David Jana. <laughs> so, then, so, so then the last 10, 15 minutes, if we've all Santar playing his flute, different flutes, man. That guy's so talented, man. And he and he does a great podcast as well. So you know, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He, yeah, yeah. he got into it in like big time. So you know the difference yeah. then in terms of when how you are producing music then at that time compared to it now. Which do you prefer? You know, I think back in the days, uh, as, as we all say, like obviously rural, like old music. I think if, even the youngsters realize that, like you know, when I see. All the youngsters, like at the wedding or whatever, they're singing to old songs. That means something to me. It's like, hey, that's the next generation, but they listen to the old songs and singing with it. I think it was because it was like all, like, say, we and Shindapadi, when we used to record, it was always like we used to go like eight, nine in the morning until six, seven every day to the studio, like five days a week. And that connection. Like if he's playing something and I'm telling him, no, no, I don't know, I, I will try to get a this and that. And now what the difference is, okay, I'm doing the vocal in India, the music producers in Canada, and somebody else is mixing it. And how is he going to feel that? How is he going to feel what we want? You know what I mean? I think that's what's happening right now. Missing people are too busy and they just want to whatever, want a song overnight where I think we... And on average song, it was at least five days. That's with the, with all the homework done already. Where he should have recorded all the pieces on on the cassette, on, on you know, on the Walkman. Then that's I'm talking about studio timing, at least four or five days on one track. And now they want like the whole album in five days, kind of thing. So I think that's going to make the difference. I think that's yeah. what's missing: the passion, the love, you know. For the music, I had a yeah. Buddha Jack Paul on here who gave a very, very rare interview, very rare interview, and he was saying that you know, when just going back to um, you know, when you were making the music, that he would only go to certain studios for certain sounds, um, yeah. and like when he heard a Jarnik's album, he he was convincing us, um, the late great uh, Belinda Suffrey to go over to that particular one to do it. You know that that yeah. dedication. Do you think that's being that's be also being missed as well today? Because you're seeing you you touched on it a little bit before, where you got a new singer, they come in nine times out of ten, they're trying to copy you, yeah, and then <laughs> then, then they're at the same, then they come up faster, get big numbers, and then they just start dropping off. Do you think because of the yeah. science in the in the UK pongara, especially, is being missed? Uh, I think UK pongara obviously dominated a lot, man. You know, obviously. Growing up in Canada, you know, we, there was no, like, singers in, in um, Canada. We all, you know, obviously listened to all the bands from the UK. I think one of the things you have to realize, you have to move with time. You have to move with time. If you don't, you, you get, you're going to get left behind. Because people, especially these days, man, you know, for example, did you want to start day on him this year? Punch, start day punch him at least five, five and a half minutes, even six minutes, man. The piece used to be like a, a minute and a half just before even I start singing. Now they want two minute song. Even the, the music producer saying, no, no, do you matter day on each other? You know, and, and, and that's a fact because all these reels and the people just going through 15 seconds, 20 seconds, they don't have time. So it's very tough market. So what well, my well opinion or whatever what I do is I go with the time. Yes, I still sing my folk. That's never no one can take that away from me. That's the backbone of Jazzy B. You know, they see music, yeah, um, folk, sadistaji, a music. What the Kati Jai ni Sagada, Ude Karkita Mabanya. Huh, but Uti Del Lutia Vidita, Anna, Uti Rambo via, Uti Romeo via, and Uti Rude Boy via, Uti Born Ready via. You have to move with time too i think that's what's happening with a lot of people from the uk they just want to say nah, 
Anna? That's it. But you can't do that, bro. That's that. Then you're circling yourself in a bubble. Like this is it, man. You know. I, I think sometimes you need to break that bubble to get more people on board, right? Well, the general thought that music as a thought that style, you know, you have that, but experiment different music. I think that, that, that's what I'm all about. Experimenting, it doesn't matter, collaborating, whatever, you know, I think that's, that's it really. I'm the, I'm the, I will come on to your music first, but I just, I'm really fascinated by this particular bit because when you look at how people, uh, who people are at the top of their game, and you think of their decision making. It, it, it's really important that the the science, the formulas behind it, how people come to those decisions. You know, when you when we look at artists and longevity of career, like it's thirty years this year, right? You know, when you're looking at it, um, all the big artists who had that long careers, Michael Jackson reinventing himself, different phases, different looks, and and these things, Madonna, Prince. You know, and you are probably like I had this discussion with the um, Shin from DCS. He also reinvents himself, very fit, keeps into it. You know, he, the, yeah, he's, vo yeah. he's vocally amazing. Do you <clears throat> consciously like think about okay, I'm going to change the look for this particular album or this theme or this season? I'm gonna I'm gonna change the way I am because you you do have different stages of your career. There's like different versions of Jazzy B, so people can say. Yeah. I, li I like Jazzy B. And then you've got different versions of Jazzy B, which is like, yeah, I like, yeah. like You know what I mean? Yeah, I like this Jazzy B. I yeah, like, I like this Jazzy B. Jazzy B. <laughs> and we mix this yeah. Jazzy B with that Jazzy B. And that's why I think, you know, when you've done part twos of songs or threes, or, you know, with Nav, yeah. especially. Yeah. Like, I remember I nearly crashed my car when I heard Nav the first time. Because uh, it was yeah. so it was so different. And I heard an interview yeah. at one stage that even that song wasn't going to be on the album. Uh, because yeah. it was, was that, is that true? <laughs> Nag song, yeah, the Nag song because um, I think the the I think it was a summer between the I could be uh, going in dangerous, talk, but it was like the record company. Uh, uh, no, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, no, it no, it was it was always going to be on the album, but it was just like the, I, I remember uh, me and Shindava you were at Tips office, right? We do the CD this and on them this again, master. So we had like OKD and another song. It was a third uh, track on the album. And every time we would play that, they would like listen to a little bit. And, nah, it's my doll about that. And they would forward it. And obviously, that's our like our favorite track kind of thing. We knew this like they see a yar chalanali chidiya. And me and Bai would just look at it like okay, na nuki pata whatever, right? We'll just say it in our own mind. But and when when the uh, you know so they made the video for the first song, okay, then another one, like a lot of money spending like thirty lakhs, whatever. And then I remember uh, Dinesh, he goes, Appa Nagala Kardeya, right? Uh, Doordarshan is like a, a version of MTV, man, mm -hmm. in Punjab. And we shot a video for 12,000 rupees, man, right? Pendage, Kodiya, Kodiya, like this. And we put that, and the album went on fire, right? And, and then they obviously re shot the video again. So there's two videos for Nag. So sometimes the record company could be wrong because an artist knows his beliefs like this song is going to work man you know you, you don't know how big it's going to go but we always have the feel that this song is going to do something because it was different i think that that song secured my generation's weddings that, you know when those songs when you release <laughs> you gotta get jazzy people's yeah. wedding you gotta get jazzy people's wedding. Yeah. when you look back yeah. on your your albums which ones do you feel which ones are special to you I think uh, it got to be with Cookie and the Joda, my first track, man. You know what I mean? That's the one uh, made Jazzy B. Because if I didn't do that, I still like, even when I perform Cookie and the Joda on stage, I still, if I close my eye, I could see myself walking into New West Fiasco Bro studio. That's where it was recorded. Uh, you know, the whole album kind of recorded there with Sangatad, Chindabai, and Moore and Waris, and Bayuni, and all, Kamal, they're all there. And and you know it, it just comes back to you, and and even I went back to see uh, Lynn. He, he was an engineer, right? And he was so happy. I was went through the portfolio, like the picture, the snaps were there when Chinnapati was playing Dole and all that. You know, so I think that's always going to be special. Kugia and Joda will always be a special album for me, a song for me. But every every album we worked on, we worked 
from our heart. Like we didn't just say we we didn't throw a song in there just for the sake of it, just to complete it. I think the way we work together, we were like, okay, if we don't like this song, how are people gonna like it? At least we have to be happy with it, either it works or not. So yeah, Cookie and Jordan will always be my uh, special. And you you got the super rare accomplishment of working with and doing an album with with the greatest with you know during. Maharajas, and um, you know, during that period, I, I wanted to always ask you this question. Actually, there was loads of kind of health situations that were happening in the in the background and with the album. How did you manage to cope with your emotion on there? Because you know, like you've got the album, you're trying to help. Uh, you're not helping, but you're working with with the with the demonic and you yeah. and. You know, they, they weren't, he wasn't well for the video as well at the same time, but there was all this emotion around it. And, you know, I remember the launch party where you shut down, so so our was just shut, shut yeah. down, bigly all, you couldn't even get in there. But, like, yeah. how do you how do you kind of get that balance that you know that there's a pressure of an album and you want it to be received very well, but then you've got personal, uh, how, you know, emotion to deal with? Yeah, man, that obviously that album will all is like a masterpiece for me. You know, like I consider myself lucky that you know, Ustadi the both chill in both one of the Janana Unako Sikhia, but I'm been blessed, I've been lucky that this four year old just went there. You know, Tram saw him in his band the first time. You know, even remember Kala Korta Kala Chadra Kai Torleli Pag, and then you standing next to him. Okay, yeah. We recorded like Dulla earlier, but this is a whole album. This is a whole album, you know, and where we would um, add joy up to the studio in, in Ludhiana. He would stay in the studio like six, seven hours, man, like in that age. And I remember uh, um, Joy Atto's dad, God bless his soul, he just passed away recently. That uh, he came up to me because he recorded a study when he was in Chardi Jawani, man. He goes, how is he with you for six, seven hours? And in this age, I was, I don't know, blessing and and I remember when we were recording, and I thought you would say, You know, it's like so humble. Even like when you the people will tell him something like, Dad, I think he goes, Acha, but you know what I mean? You know what I mean? And then Yudhi will approach me, he goes, But this one day, to see go, to see go, right? But that memory, just being with them, the stories he used to tell us, they're unreal. And you think we struggle? Oh my God, the way they struggle. Yeah, you know, going to Delhi on a bus, man, no money in their pocket. Him and Bapu, Dev Trikya, were sitting on top of the bus because they, they have no money, but they want to go. See HMV to record a song. That's a struggle, man. You know what I mean? And and I I consider myself blessing and lucky to be in the same uh, studio recording. And then it comes to uh, the video, man. Yudhi got ill when we recorded the Hokum song, right? Three of us, Jandu Samne Lekhera. And he went into coma. Boom, everything just wow, like really we're recording here, everything good. He's in coma and we're gonna shoot a video. And he shot the video when he came out of coma, man. Can you imagine that? What we're going through and to see him where he was healthy and then just like so skinny and he doesn't even remember the song. Well, I used to like stand in front of the camera, tell him, start one line, then he'll everything will come back. You know what I mean? And he, he, he's just like so emotional, but so special at the same time. Because this guy could have been gone. No, but he came back and he's, he's shooting the video. It's three of us. You know, I'm on the horse and Ustadi like, Sati dulla You know what I mean? Those words coming from him is it, it's a blessing, man. You know, and, and, and that album, that whole journey, the emotion, you know, ups and down, everything, man. It's, it's, Everything flashes back. Oh, it's a tough the, time, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, and but the you know the masterpiece just speaks for it, and it's the ultimate dedication. You know that that can be done. I just wanted to um, you know you talked a little bit about 
and especially last year and even this year, you know, we've lost a lot of people in a you know very massive influential people. And it was one of the reasons why I wanted to do this podcast because I I always wanted to ask questions about, and you could probably tell I asked a lot of questions. But <laughs> when you um, who do you think got the responsibility then of like getting all them stories down? Because only you will have a very special insight of having those stories with 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 Kuldeep Manik. No one else will know some of those things. So how do we how do we extract extract that and teach it to the next generation of this is there? Because sometimes our that history is just it's not it's not anyway it's just little yeah. interviews from there but i think podcast for example is one of the reasons why i want to yeah yeah the, uh, yeah i was gonna say that this is a really good thing you guys are doing because uh you never know man because obviously you have somebody have to tell a story to teach to the next generation it's like that's why i love like sardul paji because uh you know every time we used to go over their house we would like end up being like five in the morning man just talking about Ustad, and he will like tell the whole story. You know, so happy like how much he spent time with them because he obviously used to play harmonium with them. And obviously, us being crazy, you know, fans of Ustadji, we used to sit there and we used to love, laugh, and this. And I remember last time uh, Bohemia was down, and we just showed him uh, the video of Ustadji singing Bar Baba Banda Bahadur, and Bohemia is like sitting there like this. He's like. No sound check? How is he doing this? And he's like five feet behind the mic. And it's, and he coming close in the same voice, though. It's not going up and down. And he goes, how is that impo- possible? I go, well, there you go, man. He was a special. So, um, yeah, so I always loved story. Whoever tells about Ustadji, I would just sit there and listen and capture in. And that's what I do. If somebody meets me, I tell them his story and pass it on. I think you shouldn't hold information in, man. If if you got it, the youngsters, you pass it on because they'll pass it on to somebody else. You know what I mean? I think we we need to like record all these stuff and about all all our legends, man. You know the the way they struggled, the way they made the difference in our language, Punjabi language put it on, on on the world worldwide you know what i mean well especially like um you know children now where they learn um punjabi now through songs mainly to be honest because yeah. you know yeah, yeah definitely day, it's going down and, and that's the only way i've kind of connected my kids to to Pongla is has been through through, yeah. through songs you know like one thing that i always you know what i could say confidently is that you've never been scared to talk about things as well so you you see like people's platforms and the influence that they got from there and you've never shied away from any subject in that do you feel that you're alone in that or do you think other artists and people should be able to speak on loads of loads of different social issues i i, I think every artist should it's, it's their duty like you know what i, I think that it, it's kind of like an artist is made by people you know, if we I wouldn't be here talking to you if people didn't support me. So if people, my people are going through something, it could be anything. If I don't stand, then I'm not a man. Then what, what's the point? It's not all about just about money, me doing my shows. Oh, I don't care what's happening around the world. No, man. An artist, people listen to an artist. I could make a difference. You know, if I could teach, you know, maybe a one person is like, hey, this is what's happening in the world right now, you know educate people you know what i mean it could be bullying or it could be like you know the protest we are had we're having right now you know what i mean so it's i think it's an artist's duty uh, to um, encourage people like hey this is for a good cause support this support this you know i think a lot of people do get kind of like oh i don't want to get involved no it is man you know if somebody parent going through some somewhere some somebody's brother sitting there we all need to be together and and help people it, it, it doesn't matter what it is any social cause that's you know society it, we all need to get together and and be a better human you know i had a dr swaiman on who he was one of the doctors of the kasam movement and he gave his only yeah. like, pk one to to me and uh, yeah. that was one of the things that came across about that social movement, the justice to say, we've all got an opportunity to make a difference. 
and you know it, I, I, my background is i work in public health so um helping people get off kind of drugs and alcohol and go to rehab and so you know work with with Ruby Singh and all these people and when yeah. you see people making not utilizing their platforms to help people i find that really frustrating you know i find it yeah, really it, frustrating. It, it, yeah it, it, it is man i mean come on it just ਇਨਸਾਨੀਅਤ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਚੀਜ਼ ਹੈ ਹਨਾ ਉੱਥੇ ਨਾ ਦਾ ਰੰਗ ਦੇਖਿਆ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਨਾ ਜਾਤ ਪਾਤ ਨਾ ਕੋਈ ਧਰਮ ਦੇਖਿਆ ਦੇਖਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਹਨਾ ਇਟਸ ਆਲ ਅਬਾ ਜਸਟ ਬੀਨ ਹੈਲਪਿੰਗ ਈਚ ਅਦਰ ਮੈਨ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਇਟ ਡਜ਼ਨਟ ਮੈਟਰ ਹੂ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਇਫ ਸਮਬਡੀ ਇਜ਼ ਫਾਲਿੰਗ ਡਾਊਨ ਔਨ ਦ ਸਟਰੀਟ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਯੂ ਸ਼ੁਡਨਟ ਜਸਟ ਵਾਕ ਬਾਈ ਇਟਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਓ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਮੈਨ ਯੂ ਸ਼ੁਡ ਟ੍ਰਾਈ ਟੂ ਹੈਲਪ ਥੈਟ ਪਰਸਨ ਹੂ ਨੋਸ ਵਾਸ ਵਾਸ ਹੀ ਔਰ ਸ਼ੀ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਥਰੂ ਮੈਨ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਇਟ ਕੁਡ ਬੀ ਮੀ ਟਮੋਰੋ ਔਰ ਕੁਡ ਬੀ ਯੂ ਟਮੋਰੋ I think that's the way you got to think about whatever you, you could help a person you, you should. Hello. Hi. What's going on, man? <laughs> he's he's run right. over. Yes, you okay? Yeah. You happy? He goes he goes don't stop before I go. This is his only time. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um I just wanted to you know you and you know you've been in many sources of media like you know your films and you've done all that you've done massive collaborations with like Snoop Dogg but you've always stayed to your to your to your root cause how, how do you think that we kind of carry that legacy on again to the next gen so you've talked a little bit about it but like do you think that do you, is it is it a conversation that you have with other established stars behind the scenes to say you know Lucy Key got there like help us out now you should be doing this yeah i mean if we, like i got the obviously malik di karpana like the whole industry gives me so much respect i think that's one of the reason i get along with everyone and i just be myself like you know and and and, and when they it comes to youngsters they ask me what's the secret i go there's no secret i compete with myself i never competed with anybody you know i just try to better myself if i may nag can i make nag two better than nag one huh so it, it's like that i compete with myself i try to better myself every day you know i'm i'm obviously human being i've made mistake in the past i'm sure i'm going to make more mistake but it's the it's better if you's like hey it's my fault i shouldn't have done that or whatever i think that's one of the reason it's like there's a lot of young talent out there you know sometimes they they rely too much on social media now like you know they'll write something stupid on it and i'll read i'm like come on don't do that man you're an artist don't even cry for help those are not your friends you know all this like i got this many followers this many followers now nah, man half of them is like whatever man want to take a mickey out of you so just talk to your real friend jede ek do hunde ohi hunde na syane kende ohna nal gall karo don't go you know all this crap on 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 social media right so that that's where I, when I, when i go to gym that's my, my that's my zone if i if, if i'm going through something or even i'm not that's my phone's off man I'm, the only time i'm my phone's on when i want to make a snap out of my machine you know <laughs> you see <What>? you know <laughs> right so you got to you got to show people who having fun it's not like papa ਤੱਕੇ ਨਾਲ ਜੇ ਮਲਾ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਨੋ ਯੂ ਗੋਟ ਇੰਜੋਏ ਸੋ ਸੋ ਦਸ ਦਸ ਦਾ ਓਨਲੀ ਥਿੰਗ ਆ ਵੁਡ ਲਾਈਕ ਟੂ ਟੈਲ ਦ ਯੰਗਸਟਰਸ ਜਸਟ ਡੋਨਟ ਗਿਵ ਅਪ ਮੈਨ ਰਾਈਟ ਨੈਵਰ ਗਿਵ ਅਪ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਗੋਨ ਟੂ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਏਵਰੀ ਡੇ ਇਜ਼ ਨੋਟ ਗੋਨ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਅ ਬਿਊਟੀਫੁਲ ਡੇ ਅਪਸ ਐਂਡ ਡਾਊਨਸ ਇਨ ਲਾਈਫ ਯੈਸ ਅ ਸੌਂਗ ਮਾਈਟ ਨਾਟ ਵਰਕ ਔਰ ਸਮ ਓਨਲੀ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਨਹੀਂ ਕੀਤੀ ਸੋ ਓਕੇ ਮੈਨ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਡੂ ਇਟ ਜਸਟ ਨੈਵਰ ਗਿਵ ਅਪ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਲਾਈਕ ਆਈ ਬੀਨ ਥਰੂ ਫਰਮ ਦ ਵਾਇਲਸ ਟੂ ਕੈਸੇਟ ਰੀਲ to uh, to uh, spotify MP3, right now if we always forget mp3 <laughs> yeah mp3 right <laughs> now to uh, spotify whatever but like you know what i mean but you got to keep pushing you, i'm still learning 30 years i'm still learning because there's new things coming if i don't keep up with the game i'm left behind you know what i mean so that that's 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 the one thing i want to tell the youngsters whatever your style of singing is be your own self sade ustad ji ne hi gal kehi kehi si mainu jad mile na ho ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਕਿਸੇ ਦੀ ਕਾਪੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਨੀ ਆਪਣਾ ਕਰਨਾ ਜੋ ਕਰਨਾ ਰਾਈਟ ਐਨੀ ਗੋ ਨਹੀਂ ਤਾਂ ਬੜੇ ਦਾ ਹੀ ਨਾ ਆਉਣਾ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਤੇ 
ਸੋ ਹੀ ਅਨੀਸਾ ਰੀ ਗੋ ਲੀਹਾਂ ਪਾਉਣੀਆਂ ਔਖੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਮਗਰ ਗੱਡਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਮਰਜੀ ਖਿੱਚੀ ਜਾਵੇ ਸੋ ਵਾਟ ਐਵਰ ਯੂ ਗਾਸ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਜਸਟ ਜਸਟ ਕੀਪ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਮੈਨ ਯੂ ਮਾਈ ਨਾਟ ਮੇਕ ਇਟ ਦ ਫਰਸਟ ਟਾਈਮ ਸੈਕਿੰਡ ਥਰਡ ਬਟ ਨੇਵਰ ਗਿਵ ਅਪ ਮੈਨ ਦਸ ਦਸ ਆਲ ਦ ਯੰਗ ਸਟਾਰਸ ਵਾਟ ਐਵਰ ਯੂ ਗਾਸ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਲਾਈਕ ਨਾਟ ਓਨਲੀ ਵਿਦ 뮤직 ਜੋ ਵੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ 'ਚ ਕਰਨਾ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਆ ਮੀਨ I just want it to uh, touch upon your fitness because you you know how you dedicated you are on fitness is it um it's incredible in terms of like the the change in your lifestyle would you say that's one of the things that kept you long in the game in terms of like staying active staying mentally fit um and could you imagine if you were uh, taking going to the gym all the time what would what what you would have been like oh definitely i mean uh, there's no doubt is is <laughs> ਕਈ ਬੰਦੇ ਸੋਚਦੇ ਵੀ ਜਿੰਮ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਇਸ ਇਸ ਓਨਲੀ ਫੋਰ ਯੂ نو ਮਸਲੀ ਬਣਦੇ ਨੋ ਮੈਂਟਲੀ ਮੈਨ ਇਟਸ ਵੈਰੀ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਸੀ ਇਨ ਆਰ ਜਨਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਔਰ ਇਨ ਆਰ ਕਲਚਰ ਵੀ ਡੋਨ ਆਪਾਂ ਉਹ ਗੱਲ ਹੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਦੇ ਯੂ نو ਮੈਂਟਲ ਇਸ਼ੂਸ ਇਟਸ ਅ ਸੀਰੀਅਸ ਇਸ਼ੂ ਮੈਨ ਯੂ ਗੈਟ ਅ ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਯੰਗਸਟਰਸ ਆ ਹੈਵਿੰਗ ਦੈਟ ਲਾਈਕ ਫਰਮ ਯੂ نو 13 14 ਇਅਰਸ ਓਲਡ ਕਿਡ ਆ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਥਰੂ ਦੈਟ ਮੈਂਟਲ ਹੈਲਥ right and we all need to talk about that but we don't like oh no you need to talk about that you need to see them that is no man we need to talk about that and it's it's okay you know there's a cure for it talking to each other right rather than just holding it in that that's my zone like i said jim we are do a lot of sprints running whatever if they not of course it helps me when i go on stage whatever man i'm dancing singing i could go on for like 4 hours no problem because i put that work in the gym right so or i could be like whatever sitting home and drinking and doing all that right of course it's going to affect so it ain't that like now we jede bande chalo ohna di apni marzi hai uh some people get addicted like to drinking and all the on stage right and it does like drinking on a job man right they so you doing a normal job and you have a couple of glasses or whatever it, it, it you know what i mean of course you're going to mess up right i think that's where a lot of youngsters go uh bad right program ta aayi jane hai ek lagi do lagi then they start drinking more and more of course it's going to have effect on that, you right is that is that something you know like a a, a jazzy b now to speak to a, a, the other version a younger jazzy b would you what what advice would you have given him back then to, would you have said to start that lifestyle no I, you know i think uh, i'm lucky that my ustad he told me from beginning he go to see ni peeni thade hundi main pee li hai you know what i mean that's a big statement right and i kind of like got got to ban li palle de naal bhi nahi bhi you know what i mean it's a professional work you know you enjoy whatever you want to do but this is it being professional you know so i but would i change anything back in the days no you know what i mean i wouldn't be here if if yeah whatever i did whatever you know what i was doing performing and all the, all this I, i wouldn't change it ਕਿ ਉਹ ਕੀ ਆ ਰਿਗਰੈਟ ਨਹੀਂ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਹਨਾ ਤੋ ਲਾਈਫ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜੋ ਵੀ ਅਪਸ ਐਂਡ ਡਾਊਨਸ ਆਏ ਨੇ ਪਰ ਮੇਬੀ ਦਾ ਵਾਸ ਦਾ ਸ ਰੀਜ਼ਨ ਦਾ ਵਰ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਟੁਡੇ ਫਿਰ ਗਲਤ ਉਹ ਹੀ ਆ ਗਈ ਨਾ ਬਸ ਹਿਊਮਨਸ ਆਰ ਆਲਵੇਜ਼ ਕੰਪਲੇਨਿੰਗ ਬਸ ਕਰੀ ਜਾਣੀ ਹੈ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਆ ਨਹੀਂ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਆ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਮੇਰਾ ਆ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਇਆ ਤੇ ਆ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਇਆ ਨਾ ਵਟਐਵਰ ਹੈਪਨ ਵਟਐਵਰ ਆਮ ਵਨ ਥਰੂ ਵਟ ਆਮ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਥਰੂ ਵਟਐਵਰ ਇਟ ਡਸਨਟ ਮੈਟਰ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਵਰ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਟੁਡੇ ਹਨਾ ਉਹ ਉਹ ਸਾਡੇ ਗੁਰੂਆਂ ਨੇ ਸਾਰੀਆਂ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਦੱਸੀਆਂ ਹੋਈਆਂ ਨੇ ਯੂ نو ਵੀ ਲਾਈਫ ਇਜ਼ ਦਾ ਸੌਖੀ ਥੜੋ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਸਾਰਾ ਪਰਿਵਾਰ ਬਾਰਤਾ ਆਪਣੇ ਲਈ ਰਾਈ ਜਸ ਟੂ ਟੀਚ ਅਸ ਲਾਈਫ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਈਜ਼ੀ ਯੂ ਗਾਟ ਟੂ ਹੈਵ ਅਪ ਐਂਡ ਡਾਊਨ ਬਟ ਫੇਸ ਇਟ ਲਾਈਕ ਅ ਮੈਨ ਦਸ ਦਸ ਵਾਟ ਇਜ਼ ਆਲ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਮੈਨ ਓਕੇ ਓਕੇ ਆਈ ਵਿਲ ਕਮ ਅਪ ਟੂ ਯੂ ਬੋਰਡ ਰੈਡੀ ਇਨ ਦੈਟ ਨਾਊ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਵੀ ਕਵਰਡ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਯੂ نو ਫਰਮ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਐਸਪੈਕਟਸ ਇਨ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਯੂ نو ਆਈ ਵਾਸ ਆਲਵੇਜ਼ ਵਾਂਟਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਨੋ ਥੀਸ ਕੁਐਸਚਨਸ ਐਂਡ ਸਟਫ ਆਈ ਰੀਲੀ ਅਪਰੀਸ਼ੀਏਟ ਇਟ ਸੋ ਅਮ ਯੂ ਵੈਨ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਕਮਿੰਗ ਅਪ ਟੂ ਮੇਕਿੰਗ ਥਿਸ ਐਲਬਮ um with with born ready you know like the process of when of how you work now is it would it be like a lyricist will come up to you with ideas or is it, is it a beat or is it how do you make your decisions on what song that you want to make now uh well i mean one me and zeus did a mitra on the boot right we've been talking ever since he goes bro i want to do an album i want to do an album okay yeah koi nahi kar lange apa
work hard on the album. It's not just like, oh, you know, give me the money, I will do a song, whatever. No. So he was very passionate about it. So yeah, from like selecting songs, he would have a beat. Like, ah, oh, dekha, kida lagda idea. Oh, this is different, right? Because don't forget, he he goes, jade prani bande ne fan, oh, tere hai ne. They're not going anywhere. But we want to gain the next generation from this album. I think that was the theme behind the whole album. You know, yeah, we still got folk in there. You know what I mean? But the more for the youngsters as well. So yeah, we had a lot of lyrics. Uh, then he had beats. Then, you know, we a lot of composition. Then everything kind of like, you know, I think we like kind of like dissed like over probably eight to ten songs, which we recorded, but didn't feel it. So like, no, no, you know, Shardani, what do you like that? Yeah. Yeah. So we, I think we worked really hard on the album and uh, people are showing really, uh, really good response. And uh, once again, same, same theory from two to 90 years old. That's the target. And I think uh, with that target, I think we, you know, I think, pretty well. I think uh, Jazzy B fans and stuff would be asking me, I like, could hear it screaming like, like you've gone to another producer, like you, you, you like you done all your albums with Shin and Shinda. Is that yeah. in, in in the future that you would you're always open to working with different art uh, with different producers for albums? Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Well, I mean, uh, with Shinda, I will do another album again. Because obviously he was doing his own work. He had he was kind of busy with his stuff, so couldn't really uh, do the album. But uh, I'm definitely, I'm open to like. Whoever, man, like you know, I think that's what music is all about trying different things, you know. A lot of music that once again, like I said, you kind of have to move with the time, you know what I mean? So, yeah, um, you'll, you'll hear a lot of different songs from me in the future as well. But uh, just want to thank all you know for this album giving so much love. There's a lot of other videos coming still. Uh, Narcan is getting really good response. That's See, that's something out of my kind of like, uh, you know, out of my zone. I'm, when I'm, Zeus uh, told me the same thing, I go, no, bro, no, 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 anybody else like that. He goes, bro, come on, man, trust me, this song is going to do damage. And and I think that's what it's all about, going back and forth. If, if I could have said, no, no, I'm not going to do it. I go, no, I'll try it. If I don't like it, then we'll see, right? And and obviously, I sang that on low note. and. And people are loving it. You know what I mean? I, th- I think that's 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 what being all part is all about. So yeah. I I always love you. Like Nagavangu, Mel, you know. For me, I always <laughs> love that. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Clap, you know. <laughs> But you know, like, <laughs> yeah. something like what you did, like Divide and Rule. Um, yeah. I think I hear my, like my daughter's like favorite was like Miss Carda. You know, like different, yeah. different, but different, different vibes. Yeah. And, so, like yeah, you know, yeah. what you like especially with this album, you've done like different, different sounds and it almost represents different eras and stuff. Like yeah, what yeah. would you, what, when you're thinking of the future now, like how long do you think that you're going to um, be able to, what you're wanting? So there's a difference where not people are telling you how, how yeah, yeah. Long do you want to carry on and to do, to do um, music. And, I, and I'll give you a specific example of this. So you did a gig in um, Broad Street after years, like your, what are your UK kind of come after COVID, and the, yeah. and the, the the people in there were very young, and they've only ever yeah. heard Dog on a song uh, on a on a music. Oh, yeah. The first time yeah. they've ever seen you performing, I'm and you've yeah. seen these kids, and they're just like, you know, I, it reminded yeah. me the first time I ever saw you live, where I was working with yeah. Sarah Jackal, taking photos. Yeah. <laughs> there. We're at we're at a wedding. And I stopped taking photos, and I got because uh, I was just watching. I was just watching your whole show, and then yeah. and I saw the same faces, those responses in there. Do you see, when you see things like that? Does that make you want to carry on? Yeah, I think that's the, that's the reason. I think for every artist, I mean, that's what keeps them going. That's what keeps you know. Like I, t- I was telling you, when I see like a kid at a wedding, like four or five years old kid, yeah, but he's singing nod. Whoa, that was back in 2001, man. You know what I mean? And this kid's only, only four and five. That, that's, that's what keeps me going. Let me tell you a story. I was uh, performing in Seattle, right? And this kid come, eight, nine years old, right? 
and first of all ohde pairi hath laya na munda ve sikha le lagda kar de anda right because ustad ji da gana sunao so i was thinking okay tere tille to kahuga right he goes no guess what so he goes dulla patti i'm like oh my god right and thus i pulled him up on stage and i announced i was ye inu kar de ne sikha laya hoya ve bahut badhiya pehli gal ta eh ave pairi hath laya ne respect ya te gana dekho kada ne for match kita and that like it, it kind of blew me away you know it shot in a shot in a good way so yeah so obviously when an artist see a four or five year old kid singing your song so like the, it's like hey i'm just beginning i'm just beginning you know you know what i mean so yeah and i'm very passionate about that and i tell this uh, to the people some people like always like i said complaint up ab ho kar de hain oh mainu flight fad ke jana pana phir mera show bhi ya hey God give you that talent. You're flying, man, every day around the world. Thank God. Don't complain. So I'm, I'm, I'm the opposite. I don't complain. I said, thank you, God. Thank you, Bhai Guruji. You see, you have to do it. Country is hop, car, day, for day. Right? Local people are joining. They are giving their smile. They are giving their money. You know what I mean? So yeah, I, I'm going to go until the last breath, man. You know what I mean? I will. I, I, I know I will have the passion for it. you know what i mean so malik jab tak malik di aage hogi oda ditta hoye jadon ne kehta ve bas kar hun fe bas ya but when you do things like at the vancouver canucks performing then you hit in these you can just yeah. see like you know still re- still represented and still doing it um yeah. coming up to the last couple of questions now so you um this is the this is the bandwagon so people jump on a bandwagon you know complain jump off one <laughs> This is a space for the artist or the guest to basically share. Is there anything that they want to jump on or jump off, or is there anything that they want to get off their chest at this moment? This is the all space. Uh, no, nah, man. I'm, I just want to know. Well, but TK, man, he. I just want to tell the youngsters, man. Just work hard. Don't take the easy way out. You know, that's the one thing I noticed. It, it's it's what this generation overall. Like I tell this to my kid, so I'm telling all these youngsters as my kid, the work man, kama kare agar ho. Don't like I I know they want like this brand, nama brand chahiye da aaya aaya. It's not all about that man. You know, jada materialistic ya oni banna chahiye da. You know what I mean? Like, it, like still man, jab maine jaruri nahi main branded kapdi pona. Jab maine ready dekhte bhi mar jab maine koi da da ko lali shirt I I wear that. It, 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 whatever suits me i will wear it. so just want to tell them kind of thing don't take the easy way out all right and and respect your parents that's the most important thing and i i say this on every stage you know gurdare mandir masita sade ustad ji kehnde hunde si koi matha tekan da fayda nahi hona je apne maa pe di seva nahi karde you know what i mean respect your elders and uh, and and live your dream whatever you guys want to do in life just go for it man you might not make it the first time but you will one day so just stop comparing yourself with other people and don't let people tell you what to do either theek hai mainu kehnde hunde si wah ki jaloos kadde hai baalan da 30 saal ho gaye main kehna maal ki is tarah jaloos kaddi rakhe right so people always judge you they were always like oh why theek hai ki the style ki hai you know what i mean but no i want to tell people hey this is who i am this is who jazzy b is right take it or leave it and people took it right so but there are still people um, you know jade hunde jo thode wale unhi ta kahi jana so don't let people get you down live your dream and uh, respect your parents man that's that's what it's all the about only, the only thing missing with you now jazzy is a uh, is a man united shit we know we have nahi prava tha sade wale da udde bechara naal bhalla lagya hoya koi gal nahi theek ho jaunge ਮੈਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਡਰਦਾ ਐਸ ਕੀ ਵਧੀਆ ਖੇਡਦੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਯਾ 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 ਇਟਸ ਕਮਿੰਗ ਇਟਸ ਕਮਿੰਗ ਪਰ 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 ਸੇ ਹੰਬਲ ਬ੍ਰੋ ਇਟਸ ਵਾਟ ਇਟਸ ਵਾਟ ਐਵਰ ਗੋਸ ਅਪ ਵਸ ਕਮ ਡਾਊਨ ਯਾ ਨੋ ਆ ਕੈਨ ਨੋ 100% ਐਗਰੀ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਆ ਵਾਸ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਫਨੀ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਵੈਨ ਯੂ ਲੁੱਕ ਐਟ ਆ ਹੈਡ ਥਿਸ ਟੀ ਸ਼ਰਟ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਬ੍ਰੂਸ ਲੀ ਐਂ ਐਂ ਐਲੀ ਆ ਨੋ ਯੂ ਆ ਬ੍ਰੂਸ ਲੀ ਫੈਨ ਬਟ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਹੀ ਹੀ ਆਲਵੇਸ ਕਮ ਆਊਟ ਵਿਦ ਅਨਦਰ ਫਰੇਜ਼ ਵੇ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਹੀ ਡਸਨਟ ਹੀ ਨੇਵਰ ਨਿਊ 10000 ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਕਿਕਸ ਹੀ ਆਲਵੇਸ He used the he mastered the one kick 10,000 times you know what I mean so yeah, yeah and, and I think yeah, you yeah. you really show that and 
I think there's a lot of lessons even out of this podcast that people will be able to learn and listen in their own life, in, in music or whatever art or kind of industry that they want to work at. And um, yeah. I think it's always been, it's okay to change your mind. It's okay to have a go. And you should have role models to go in there. Because some people, they don't choose to be. I mean, you might, wouldn't have chose to be a role model, but you're in that situation where you are a role model as well and, and that, that responsibility. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think uh, I think we always say we always prepare for a win. We should be prepared for, um, hey, if I lose, then what? Right? I'm going to make whatever you guys want to do in life. Prepare yourself for all, you know, to the lowest. I might not make it. You need to prepare yourself. That's what happened. I think hope and overconfidence always kills you, right? You know what I mean? So just just be yourself and just go for whatever you guys want to do, but prepare yourself for the worst as well. You know what I mean? Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Take your time out. It's um, It's been a 10-year journey to try and get this done. So uh, <laughs> it's been brilliant. I really appreciate it. And, I'm, and uh, I definitely going to do this again uh, when uh, uh, are the, are the next uh, achievements and the next stage. Yeah, yeah, no problem, bro. Uh, I'll see you in April. I'm going to be coming to UK, so we'll definitely see you. Uh, thanks for all the respect and love. Always, obviously, you know, I'll, I'll see you everywhere. And um, that means a lot. You know what I mean? You know, people like you guys keep me young, man. generation, they're my fan. That's a beautiful thing. That's you passing you know, you, you, kind of like the, the guy you, George. hey, this is, you know, there you go. You know, so the, the, on the, I've said this story a few times. Um, on my wedding, I sang, uh, <laughs> I, I sang Dulla with you, but I didn't <laughs> love, yeah? know because yeah. it was terrible. <laughs> and, then, and then this weekend gone, I had, uh, yeah. I had Josh, he, he yeah. came on the stage and he got given a, a mic and he there said, there you go, there you go, man. Here we go. This is my, when he's older, here he there goes. There you go, man. There you go. Bless Josh, man. There you go, bro. There that's you what go. it's all about. That's a beautiful thing. Pa- passing, passing on, man. That, that's that's a beautiful journey, man. You know that's what it's all about. Thank you, bro. Thank you very much. Thank you.